This is weird and crispy. What the? It's nice, right? Welcome to Peeling the Orange, episode one. We're joined by Lex and... Benton One. I'm gonna do why, why did you enjoy Lex and not me? I know, that's I what I was, I was I had, like. I had a massive damn. brain fart. <laughs> you forgot my name? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is, peeling the, this is peeling the orange where we don't give a f*** about anything. So, Supercell update. Brawl Stars came out with Willow and everything. That, that, that seemed like it was pretty smooth because that, that was part of the, what, the update was. Masteries, man. Oh, Masteries. That was big, a good hit. Big, big, nice, big feature for Brawl Stars that a lot of people have been looking forward to and seem to receive it pretty well. And not just for cosmetics, but you got progression for it. But that's Kyro, the big Kairos thing. was jizzing his pants talking about it. Oh, dude. I love 100%. that I can say this because I know... Oh. <laughs> it feels so weird hearing it come out, of your, come out from you, OJ. I mean, I never... Well, we, we, don't, we don't have to worry about that because I don't, I don't think like a five-year-old's going to watch a podcast. Um, you the comments, all of them. I'm eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> well, I looked up to you, OJ. <laughs> I'm nine years old. Yeah, no, it was really great. Kairos is talking about progression and all these things like gold and... Yeah, gold credits and power points. All of their, There's so much progression there on the Masteries that it was a tremendous thing, especially for free-to-play players. Yeah, Kairos was like, according to my calculations, I think this free-to-play will be... <laughs> 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 It has reduced our play time by 27.37%. <laughs> he doesn't even talk like that. Why do we slander him so hard? <laughs> I know he does sound like but it just seems like the thing to do. So yeah, Brawl Stars, uh, great update. Like they've been they've actually been since Gears and since they actually released the public uh, or released to the players like their roadmap of what they wanted to do in the game. Since the players felt like that they were included on it and they could see the things that they were working towards, like they've been putting out bangers after bangers and has really turned around the game because eight months ago, the game was like way down and it's really taken a big turn. Do you know what I think really slumped Brawl Stars in, the, that, in that time? I think that releasing level 10 and 11 cards and gears, level one, level two, and level three gears was extremely overwhelming. Oh, yeah. I, I talked to like... My my friend who's a casual gamer, she she used to play a lot of Brawl Stars. I asked, oh, why don't you play Brawl Stars anymore? Oh, it's so overwhelming. There's so much progression now. I, I talked to some other more hardcore friends. They were saying, oh, after playing for three, four weeks, I realized that I'm not progressing anywhere. My, my once maxed out account is literally half of what it used to be now. Yeah. And I've only got like a few Brawlers to level 10. They literally quit after playing for like yeah, it was too much wow. like it was such a big mountain and, and, and it wasn't over like one day it was over a period of three four five six seven weeks it was like wow i've been playing for seven weeks and i am not getting to level 11 my gears are not anywhere near where they used to be my account is nowhere near maxed so i guess i'm just gonna quit well i mean you can only take so much for your level nine going versus level 11s and like not getting like any progression like what did what did you spend five grand five thousand yeah, dollars on I one video Spend a I, little less than it's like which you're not is even max. Which is one of the only videos that I've ever made when I was spending money like Jimmy, because normally they're pretty fun, and you know most of the time I'd make back the money and, and a lot more. Sometimes not, but it was usually pretty decent. That video, I of course didn't make back the money, but also it was the worst time. It was so boring spending that five thousand dollars. That's that's so funny it was, because it was just like not exciting whatsoever, and the video didn't do that well. Usually it is fun to gem open uh -huh. progression. No, it was I, just oh, boring. I agree. Like that was the worst it felt spending money in the game. Yeah. It just felt like it was like a bottomless pit. Like oh oh, it's the, it didn't even give you that little dope. Yeah, there was nothing get. exciting about it. It's like they're just oh yeah, that but was bad. That was way back then. They they removed level two, level three gears. They simplified it. It's just mm -hmm. coins. You don't you need to. Roll the gears. They from listen everything. to the community. Yeah, because they listened, unlike mm -hmm. someone. Oh, certain other games probably. Yeah, another game. You're, like you're talking about Clash Royale right now, <laughs> you fuckers. <laughs> Dude, I'm pissed at Clash Royale. Yeah, no, like I have been playing Clash Royale. I started my channel on Clash Royale. I love Clash Royale. I still. I, You've I, been playing Clash Royale I've for been, seven years. Yeah, I've been playing it almost every day We've for seven years. We've all been playing years. Clash Royale for seven years. You, you on and off, but Lex has not quit. And now yeah. is the first time since in, in a very long time that I can remember that I look at what's in the game right now and I'm like, I have no desire to play this right now. I, I just, I don't have any desire to play it. I felt that when, this is even before this last update, when they changed like the Path of Legends, the level cap on the arenas. I was trying to do a new account where I was pushing arenas and it's like, oh, I'm at 5,500 trophies, but I can't get to the next thing because I need to level up four levels. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and if you're free to play, how can you even get that? 
and four levels. Is all I even bought all the packages and I still couldn't level up. You yeah. needed a ton of cards, a ton of gold. They gate locked Dude, all the that progression. was horrible. I, I've started a new account, spent all the offers and everything. I got to 6,000 trophies and I physically could not push any higher. And I was starting to face level 14s, even though I couldn't go up in arenas. That was, that was the first draw. The diamond pass. So I don't know everything in this update, but like, why would they get rid of a, why would they add a tier to the diamond or the pass? Like what benefit would that have? So there's other games that are adding like premium tiers to that, which is fine. But what they did was they took the gold pass and they made it even worse. And then they put all the gold pass rewards into the diamond tier. And then they just, and then they made the free pass a little bit worse. Okay. There's technically a little bit more gold and all that stuff, but they're justifying it by saying that they're reworking the challenges so that the rewards are also in the challenges. Be that as it may, the challenges kind of suck now too. They don't. They're not a challenge anymore. I'm pissed about the challenges. Like th I, I, I thought about this the other day when I was looking at how they got it structured, and I thought this must really suck for content creators because there is no like ten win challenge or whatever you're doing. It's just like, hey, you just play this, and if you lose, whatever, it doesn't matter. You just keep playing. You there's there's no there's no narration that you can make to any of that it's like why so it's like a free challenge with yeah. unlimited wins for context unlimited wins and unlimited losses doesn't matter you're still getting stuff for context ben you get 1000 season tokens a day and you can't save them up so you can get up to thirty thousand if you're free to play at, for 30 days so 1000 per day you, you can get about 500 per win or 200 per loss there's you you win one you lose two you hit the daily cap there's like no point to actually try people are playing with just like whatever deck that they're just going into the challenge just to get their dailies. I have a feeling it's going to turn into where like they, they play or they'll, they'll join in and then just not play because they don't care you, if they lose. You get season tokens for using Elixir, so you have to kind of play. Oh, well. Mm. It just because, and this is what, you know, leads me to my sense of like, I don't, what's the point of playing? Because I, mainly... I, I played a lot of 2v2, just casually, just so I could get boxes. They Which, took that out. They, they, can't you can't anymore. farm crowns from 2v2 anymore. And you can't even farm chess from 2v2 because they moved it to the events tab. Because the events tab, you can play the super archers, the heist, or 2v2 or whatever is in the events tab. But you can only play t twice. All and the little special modes are in the events tab but you don't get crowns from them whatsoever. You can play as much as you want, you get your little season tokens, which you can buy some things with, That's, but... That seems really bad, especially, like, taking it away and, like... Yeah. Like, oh, you forcing you... So what? what is the main mode, then? Ladder or Path of Legends, which they also changed to Super Mega Draft. And you something. can't play ladder unless your cards are maxed out or high enough level for your respective arena. So the only way to get chests is if you want to play some Super Sweaty mode. But to be fair, the developers have good intentions. So they were thinking, oh, the community's been asking, f oh, these challenges are so fun. I want to be able to play that again. So they did that. And they completely reworked challenges in a direction that I don't think a lot of people agreed on. But they gave us what we wanted in a weird way. So they kind of went like in a roundabout way and then it's like, we gave it to you, but now we took away something as well. They didn't want to s make it seem like it's taking away because they wanted to rework the season pass as well. But they did take away magic items, magic coins, magic books. The book of books and whatever thing from well, those, the those those are OP. I'll give them and, that. And I that that I will agree with you there. I don't. I'm not like super mad. I don't like that they took away. Obviously, from a player's perspective, you know. But it's they're they're so valuable. Like for five dollars, it's it's well worth well more than that in terms of their economy. So I understand why they did it. And I'm not mad at them about that. It sucks, but it is what it is. I'm more mad that honestly, I'm more mad that they took away chess from. The, some of the casual modes because that was like my main mode of playing and like well, I don't want to like always try to be super sweaty and grind out these games against you know players that are trying really hard I don't want to if they want to do that cool but it's not what I wanted to do so I don't have the motivation so to get essentially play. you have to try hard to like free to play progress now to get chests you can buy some cards and some other progression items not very much but some of them in the season shop you can get them from there in the season shop you now have choice to get wild cards or coins or banners or emotes before in the challenges you would get coins front loaded and then you get emotes at the very end now it's like do i do i want coins or do i want cosmetics you can't choose between the two but even that the uh, the emotes are so freaking expensive you can't even buy all of the emotes as free to play that you have to spend gems to get them so it's not like you could have entered into a challenge as a free to play done really well and got an emote at the end had a sense of accomplishment that you beat it no you have to spend gems to get it okay well is this the start of clash royale becoming boom beach
Into Boom Beach. <laughs> oh my God, that's, 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 a, that's a, that was my game. That's not, a pretty. Not anymore, not anymore. That's a pretty deep uh, crevice to go down into. Hey. But um, no, no hate to Boom Beach players out there. But no, I don't. That I guess it would depend on the developers. If they did nothing, they're could not. It be? They're not going to do nothing. Yeah, they're going to. No, they, there's no way. They released a video on Twitter. Like we hear your feedback, and we're sorry for all this stuff, and. We're working to change it. So it's the changes are going to come soon. I just hope that they're good changes. I hope that they make challenges competitive again. I hope they fix Path of Legends so that it's not Mega Draft and that you can get chests more casually. So basically, by fixing, they're just going to revert probably a lot of stuff. Maybe not revert, not revert, but hopefully they can change the economy of it because everything in the shop is so expensive for cosmetics or coins. You can't pick both. You know what? Another thing that chaps my height about some of the stuff that's coming in Clash Royale, like level 15. Why do you have to have level 15 at all? Money. Nobody wants level 15. Who's out there dying to get to have to spend the hundreds of thousands of coins to level up cards? On Reddit, they made a post saying that there is data to suggest that players were coming back and were happy to level up their cards to level 14 when they released it. That was when Champions came out though, right? Yes, yes, it was. <laughs> they came back for like, champions, not I to will, level up their cards. Hey, 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 I have a prime example. I came back for champions. Level 14, honestly, like was like, whoa, dude. Like, Because I was fully maxed. And then I got back, and it's like, I have one card max. I was mad about that, but I was okay because there was champions. Right. And that feels like that wasn't that long ago. I'm still not even all the way maxed again yet. Neither am I. I'm only about half my so cards maxed. Looking at a normal person that doesn't spend money, they're going to be two levels behind now. And, and I'm sure it's going to get more than 100,000 gold for to up, if you went to level 15. Level 14 right now is spending 100,000. It's going to be more than that. It's like they that's, should, they un, should, that's unreal. They should look at how Brawl Stars failed with their two uh -huh. levels. They should not have and, done two levels. Just, like, just not do that. <laughs> it's just, it but comes they, to a point where it's just too much. Nobody, nobody needs level 15. Learn from Brawl Stars and how pissed off the community was mm -hmm. but brawl stars added level 10 11 level 1 2 3 gears clash royale is only adding level they added level 14 last year and they're only adding level 15 this year so they are spacing it out i understand that but what's the what's the benefit of doing that what what, what does it add to the game yes nothing <laughs> so <laughs> what i if you look at brawl stars the season pass is for 60 days if you look at Clash Royale, it's double the price now for 30 days. So Brawl Stars is literally four times the value, and a free-to-play player can get a season pass every second. Every other one, yeah. Every second every, season. Every every 60 days, they'll get another one. Mm -hmm. Clash Royale, you will never right. get a season pass. Brawl Stars is a massively more free-to-play friendly game. There's no doubt. Yeah. They, they, they can lean a little bit more on cosmetics. I don't mind paying more for cosmetics, but... Clash Royale didn't really lean that direction, and they're more progression-focused, I guess. I still would love to see Clash Royale do something akin to Map Maker in Brawl Stars. Oh, that would be great. If you could put, like, four Princess Towers and, you know, three bridges and ultimate, you know, infinite elixir, or just make complete K, do whatever that you wanted to. Wouldn't I've been that be saying cool? that for years. That would be so awesome. Yeah. Wasn't that Molt's big thing? Yeah, it was. Power he's, abilities he's too. He's been preaching about that for years, but they... Like, wh like, why isn't it a direction they wanted to go to? Is it like the core gameplay they don't want to change up too much? For the longest time, they were fixing Forgot. the spaghetti code. Uh, so they were, they could, they literally couldn't implement new features because everything was just so spaghetti from so many transitions from developers just moving in and out. Whereas Brawl Stars was, was reworked. Right, right at Global Launch. Yeah, right, right before Global they Launch. They completely reworked the engine. No, they redid like all of it into 3D before it was not a technically a 3D game. Yeah. Well, Clash Royale, stop fixing all, all your progression that doesn't need to be fixed and just start working on tower abilities, please. And <laughs> Maker, thank you. Please. There is a lot of inspiration on Clash of Clans into Clash Royale where they added, they, they, they borrowed features from the Magic Books and that brought back the community. It made people feel like, oh, I can actually progress in this game again. Level 13 is not going to take me 10 billion things. It's just one magic book, one magic coin, and I can. that's attainable for me. And now if they add level 15, just like how Clash of Clans adds Town Hall 15, they make the Town Hall lowers cost less. I remember Town Hall 7 used to take a long time. Now you can log in and get Town Hall 7 in like a day. The walls are way less expensive than they used to be. So if Clash Royale wants to add level 15, why the fuck 
aren't they making progression for those lower levels cheaper than for a max note player it's like okay that's something to, to gain for but for a newer player to get to level 15 that's never happening yeah they're they're never. not re, they're not rebalancing the economy as they add levels clash of clans does the walls are a lot cheaper even that though oj adding level 15 in itself does not add anything to the game it, it doesn't <laughs> add any anything to the game yeah what does it add to the game? Seriously. What does adding a whole another card level add people to, love to the progressing. game? Progressing. It's not like it's not though. It's different than like Clash of Clans where they add a new town hall where everything's different. Yeah, and you get a bunch of different it's new a, stuff. It's a associated DPS. With it. It's a DPS, HP buff, and all that stuff. And more money. It's just I mean, and if it's just, hey, we need to uh keep the game going and make some money off of this. Then I mean I guess I understand that it is what it is, but maybe there's a better way to go about that. I'm not a developer; I don't know. Clash of Clans, Town Hall 10 used to take 14 days for the cannons. Now Town Hall 15 cannons take 14 days. There's got to be a catch-up mechanic, right? There is none in Clash Rail. They haven't done that. That doesn't make sense. If they're going to add more levels, they should at least add a catch-up mechanic. For whatever reason, they want to add levels. Clash Rail. And Brawl Stars used to be really free-to-play friendly. And I, I, I was a firm believer that they didn't need all these heavy monetizations. But when they removed the Book of Books that can get you 20 champion cards of a $5 pass, and the Book of Books is just one of 35 rewards for $5, they removed that Book of Books alone. They added a deal in the shop that's eight wild champion cards, $50. That's insane. <laughs> if you do the math, I think that's a hundred X less value. It's a hundred times more expensive. If that's that's insane. Um uh, yeah. I, I mean I like I said before, I understand that they removed the book of books and the magic coin from the you know pass for five dollars. I understand that. That's really insane value. I get it. But it feels like they w went too far. Okay, so how long would it take to max a champion right now without spending money? Oh, oh if, if you were like, if you, long you, even if you were like a level 14 and like you're just going for one champion. I don't know. Because you can and only get the champions from what the the, 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 royal, champion, the royal wild chest, right? And I think, or the royal chest. Yeah, the royal chest and give you the champion. What's the drop rate on those? Like once every 500 chests? Something like that? I forgot what the cycle was. It's been a while. And it's they, a lot they, they though, changed. right? Yeah. I mean, so let's just say once every 350 to 500 but chests. is isn't even harder to get chests now too? Well, there's only two ways to get it. So yeah, you can't play casually and get them anymore. And get this. They removed silver chests to buff the economy. So you only get gold chests now. But what did that do? That removed three hour chess queue into eight hours. So to get to the 500th Royal Wild Chest, takes that takes even longer because yep. they, each chest now takes longer to open. They have well intention. I personally talked to the team and said that, hey, you got to rework how silver chests are because it's of no value to players. And they might have removed that, but they didn't think about the ramifications that was going to cause. Like, there's always good intent in what they do. Like, they, they wanted the season shop. The season shop was great. I have but no they, problem with the season shop. But they just didn't balance cool. it well. Why? The book of books is now 15,000 season tokens. That's 15 days to play, which isn't too bad. Right. But then you're now you're not getting any gold, mm -hmm. which sucks a lot because gold is always the bottleneck. Now you, you're not going to get any cosmetics. You can't get banners. You can't get emotes. It's either gold or cosmetics or save for the magic book. You have to choose one of the three. It, whereas when you play challenges before, you you kind of get everything. You get banner tokens, you get gold, and you get a mode at the end for a 10 wins. I, I know that they mean well, and the only reason why we're even talking about this is because we enjoy the game, and we, we care about the game as well. I mean, if we didn't give a crap about the game, we wouldn't be talking about it, right? But I just think that they have definitely just missed the mark, and I'm, ex I'm, I'm very hopeful from that, you know, the message that they posted over on Twitter saying, we screwed up, we're looking to see what we can do. I hope that they, they address this and they come up with some good solutions that will benefit everyone. I'm very confident that they'll be able to do the right thing because they've been, tr they obviously love the game too and they're trying to execute all these things to make the game better and they just missed the mark. That's all it was. You rework one thing and then they might have not seen something else there and that just completely changed i mean it's got to be gut-wrenching for them as well to put out this update that they thought was going to be really great and they were you know they'd worked hard on and to see their hard work just get absolutely just dragged through the mud and rightfully so but it's got to be that's got to be a tough pill to swallow as well but i'm you know how usually it's like like 
the fans giving a lot of the bad feedback or like a lot of like social stuff this this month i've seen a lot of content creators Mm -hmm. give some feedback and so that just makes me think like okay hopefully they take that like they really do need to change it because it's it's not just like on reddit and stuff it's like actual content creators be red flex everyone OJ privately. Like, and I don't even have... It's not private. I have videos on it. I don't even have a dog in this fight. I don't make, you know, Clash Royale content anymore. And I just enjoy the game. And so that was just me as a a player that might have a little bit more reach than a normal player saying that I was disappointed with it. I didn't... As an everyday content creator, like, for Clash Royale pretty much, where can you see that you can actually, like, make content now with these changes? It seems like it's gotten a lot harder now with these changes. You can't do challenges. The, The pros used to make, like what they pushed in Path of Legends and how far they could in like the best decks that they used and that formed the meta. But Path of Legends for this season is mega draft. So you can't even do that anymore. So you no. can do that, what, that content's you, gone. What's next? Um, I am really good at building decks for like these shitty weird challenges like mm-hmm. heist. I know exactly what to do for heist. Like I, I don't know what it is. Pros just don't know how to draft in, in heist and these wacky modes, super archers and all these things. And usually when I invent these decks, I'm only good at these bad modes by the way, I don't, I don't know. I'm just really good at making those decks. But when I was making the decks, it felt like, oh, no one's trying. I don't even know if my deck is good because no meta is actually forming. If you look at Royal API, no one is forming one cohesive deck to really grind these challenges because there's no reason to grind. They're just going with whatever. Oh, I win. I got 500 tokens. I lose. I got like 250. I, I got my dailies. Because there's no goal now with these challenges there's no exactly. end goal right there's no emote at the end that you're going to try to really try to get after you're just playing and it doesn't matter anymore it just feels like you wake up to drink water it's just like <laughs> it's just like uh let, let's get the thousand season tokens <sighs> already got it yeah that's a big issue because it's not fresh like those cha- like i remember you you showed me the magic archer challenge where or the super magic archer and then you could win i think it was an emote at the end right yeah, yeah, like that was actually fun because yeah. it's like, yeah, I got this emote at the end, but now it's like, oh, I got a thousand magic I- tokens, items, season tokens. Yeah, season. and if you if you play for eight days straight, you might be able to get one emote. That doesn't feel good. That no, doesn't it feel doesn't good. feel good. It's not exciting. It's not like engaging. Give me that dopamine, that instant rush. <laughs> I want that emote now. <laughs> well, that sucks. So, what else you got? What else can you make videos on now? Uh, there's, there's, Besides I, the I state have, of Clash Royale, <laughs> I have a lot of ideas still out there. I, I I'm confident that they'll be able to do the right thing and not only for content creators but for players as well for progression and everything else i don't know i'll make some videos you'll see it seems hard right now i will say that it is hurting a lot of content creators and it's forcing me to be more creative which is not a bad thing no but i I love it the content creators that did a lot of um you know play this deck in this mode and you're going to do great or whatever you know that is seems like they, it's going to take a hit, right? Especially if you like, you know, Path of Legends, since it's Mega Draft now. What well, you can give a guide on maybe some tips on how to draft in Mega Draft, but beyond that, it's what do you that, do? It's like one video. <laughs> yeah, what do you do? With monetization, I'm really happy with Brawl Stars right now, but Clash Mini, have you guys logged on? I haven't played it, it in was, a while. There was a $35 offer for two skins. Wait, thirty five dollars for only two skins. Yep. Flash Royale gave like three for like what nineteen? Like you can get skins in Brawl Stars, be it not the, the top tier ones, but skins in Brawl Stars for a, a couple bucks. Even Mecha Mortis probably This is a twenty dollar skin. It's like it comes with a bunch of stuff with it too. It's not just a skin. Right. Obviously, but that's a very pr- very premium skin. But I'll be honest, like I feel like Brawl Stars has probably the best skins because you it's like a, your character and the effects that you use like Clash Mini, you get your minis and you like place them down, but like they're so small, <laughs> you don't get to control them. Yeah, if like, you buy a Mecha Mortis skin, you're a Mech, yeah, you're you a Mortis are. main, and you're gonna see his animations for all the games right. that you play. And I do like how Clash of Clans does like the environment you know skins yeah. that's really cool because then you you can set their cycle between whichever ones you want and it really does affect your entire you know view when you're playing the game that's very cool but $35 for two mini skins seems absolutely insane no, to me the update that turned me away from clash mini cuz i was number 1 in the world i don't know if you guys knew this i did i saw yeah. the video yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah 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 get out of here get out i was number get 1 in clash out. mini yeah whatever the update where they took away your progression at the end of the season, and then when you logged back in, you had to either keep oh, the your star stuff, things? or yeah, keep your stuff, 
or like open this chest and you're not maxed anymore, but like you have a chance to get the new stuff. This feels really bad because I took the one where I didn't get maxed again. Then all my stuff was low level and I was like, I don't like this. And then I actually didn't play it again. They just changed that though, I think. I think they reverted that back. They reverted it again? I think I that they think took it away because nobody liked it. In the next update, they're changing it. Okay, well, that's a positive, but what else did you see when you logged on? Like what else did they really change? They added a new hero and it was... um. $45 for that with the skin? What? All right. $45? I, I think because the skin was worth like $20 or something. It was kind of cool skin, but I don't know. But still, for a mobile game and for their target audience, which is probably somewhat younger, that is a very big ask. Yeah, you, you could farm it for cheaper. So there's a way you could get it for free? It would take a little bit, but you could get it for free. Okay, well, then I don't feel as bad about that then. Yeah. If it was just 45 bucks in here, you either get it and you spend the money or you don't ever get it, then that feels bad. Do you guys think Clash Mini is going to go global? For perspective, Brawl Stars was in beta for 18 months. Clash Mini is about 16 months in beta now. Being as I haven't played it in like six months, and I, you telling me this doesn't make me want to go back. What else have they added that's like... Oh yeah, this is a new thing. This they is have cool. added some new features like gizmos and you know like other. I saw that, but that is like it, that. That didn't really. Uh, didn't, here's the that here's, didn't intrigue me. It didn't like to bluntly answer your question. I think no, but that's only because and not because the game isn't good. Because I think it is. I don't think that the game is, has enough depth of strategy to it. But even more so than that, auto chess, which is essentially what Class Mini is is a very small genre of game that is not really that popular anymore. T uh, TFT is more popular right now. Is it still very popular? It seems like, you know, you scroll back the clock two years ago and auto chess was the rage. Oh, yeah. It's it's more TFT now because it's like the League of Legends characters. Right. What I like about TFT and auto chess is that there's massive depth and synergies and all these different kinds of ways you can mm -hmm. outplay your opponents with mm -hmm. what you pick. Clash Mini, you, you do get three abilities, but I feel like it's so limited. Oh, I did the wrong placement. Now I'm getting I'm getting wrecked by the bowler or the spear goblin, and that doesn't... Yeah, a lot of too much RNG, not enough strategy to it. A little bit. Once you get really high level, I don't know, how did you feel about that? That, that didn't really make or break the game. It, like, if you, oh, I got hit by a spear goblin at this time, it's like, oh, man, you could, you could play around it. However, this goes back on you saying synergies and stuff. The reason why also I stopped playing, I'm not going to lie, like, after a month, it wasn't enough depth to keep going. Like that there. there's three things Supercell looks for when they want a game to go global. One, they want retention. So they want players to be playing for more than a month. They want number two, they want a game that can be played for 10 years. And number three, a healthy monetization that is good for the players and the company. Yeah. A lot of people are like, oh, the past rail, the inflation's bad and everything. What? Why are they increasing this? It's not like game companies need it. It's like, well, no, inflation's up, like, what, 17% in the last three years or whatever. There's marketing costs. There's server costs. Frank made a really good post where it was millions of dollars a month just for Amazon servers, plus marketing, development, Creative the artists, codes. and everything. It's like, these artists on the team are going to be impacted if you don't increase their wages. I think that inflation is normal in everything, and it, it, I think it's unfair for people to say that game developers aren't allowed to increase their prices. No, I'm perfectly fine with people yeah. increase, increasing their prices. And also, I would like to say also about Clash Mini, I, I don't think that it's going global, but I hope I'm wrong because I think that the game is extremely well-polished and there's a lot of, you know, very uh, avid fans of the game out there and I would feel disappointed for them, just like I was disappointed that Heyday Pop got canceled. Hey, um, Pop should have gone global. I liked that game. I liked it so much. But I do hope that I hope that I'm wrong, and I hope that Clash Mini does go global, and that they figure out any kind of problems that they have, and it does well. I just don't see it right now. Oh man, I miss miss Hey. I know, Pop. right? Hey, Pop was good. Yeah, was I so played good. that game a bunch. I played it every day. It was fun. It was yeah. just a nice... There was no way you were making a YouTube video on it, but <laughs> it was a very fun time killer game. I did. <laughs> did you? Oh, but you made was like interviews. Was it a one-off or was it like... like uh, was it like an interview with the dev? Was that what you did with it? I might have. I don't remember. Anyway, so I was, I, was, I was sad to see that go, but I hope that Mini makes it. I just don't see it right now from where the game... What the game looks like to me. I just don't see the longevity of it. They, there's like... just like I feel like there's just like the missing... So they're missing something. Like... To, that makes you like you don't feel you know, that spark when you play it do no you? it's like there's no it's not as much strategy as i'd want it's not as much like 
satisfaction of like i don't know just like winning as well like it's like i get it it's a mobile game and it's got to be or at least for supercell they they would like them to be short easy you know light yeah, you know, yeah. to the point but maybe it's too light it's yeah, not enough yeah. it's I, not i think to that's, really engage people i think that's why it doesn't satisfy me it's like i didn't do enough to earn this win like or to, maybe like to, you're I'll, just I'll not the right the maybe point. we're just we're not the right audience that could be another thing. I guess. But is the audience they want, are they going to keep playing it for years upon years upon years? I don't see that either, but maybe I, I could be completely wrong. I don't know. Could be a smaller audience. Like, I wonder if... it's. Good. I think it's probably going to get to a point where Supercell standards are so high. If, like, if it's been like... It's been, what, four years since they released anything? Global? Clash of Clans released in 2012. Clash Royale 2016. Brawl Stars 2018. It's been five years. Five years. I think it's going to get to a point where they're going to either lower their standards a little and be like, hey, it's good enough. I don't know. They just sold Everdale. They sold it to... One of their uh, subsidiary companies? They own shares in that company yeah. for Merge Mansion. I saw that. But who who they sell it to? The Merge Mansion company. Okay, I didn't know that one. Um, but the other one that they Everdale have. wasn't a great content game, though. And they, it wasn't. They, they knew that. But not everything has to be a content game, yeah. though, right? I mean, look at Candy it Crush. It helps, though. Candy Crush isn't a content game, and it's the highest grossing game in the world. Tons of people play it, right? And so it doesn't have to be. But for us, it's nice that if it is, obviously. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it'll get to a point, though, where it's like, hey, it's been five years. Or it's been seven years. It's been eight years. You need to reevaluate we, we, your standards of... Yeah, we need to really, really, really something. They yeah. killed Rush Wars. They killed Heyday Pop. They killed... I understand them killing Rush Wars. <laughs> yeah. It was, What's weird... That game was fun for a couple of So like, we, a, a we, we, we flew to Finland to try that game out when they... Remember when they like took us out onto the island, you know, and they shot, you know, they lit the boat on fire oh, with Rush was Wars. Cool. Anyways... I remember I was so excited to play this game and I played it in within 15 to 20 minutes of playing. I'm like, this ain't it. This, this is not going to go global. Like oh, this. Yeah. I felt that right away too. It was instantaneous. No. I, I yeah. was like, I was like, nope. I, t nope. I, I remember my, in my notes that I sent them. I was like, not enough like depth and or strategy to go global. And that's, I'm honestly, that's kind of how I feel with Clash Mini. I'm sorry. It was fun. Kairos believes Clash Mini. He will does. Global. He does, and he's so. got a pretty good track record of getting those right as well. I'm, I'm four for four for four. prediction. Shut up, Carlos. Yeah, I'm four for four. <laughs> 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 he doesn't even talk yet. <laughs> we, love, we, we love you, we love you, Kairos. They, right? they killed Rush Wars. They killed Heyday Pop. They killed Clash Quest. Spooky Pop. They killed Spooky Pop. Clash Quest was a, also a little bit stale of a game. Yeah, no, I... Oh! It has Squad potential. Busters! How do you feel Squad about Squad Busters? busters. Oh. It's not there yet either. How do you feel about Clash Heroes? That, Clash, that was the does one Does that game. still exist? We haven't heard anything yeah. about We haven't Clash heard Heroes. about it for three years. Like, I, I was so hyped about that. That was the game I was like, this has the most potential yeah. out of any Supercell game I've seen. They haven't said anything for three years. I bet you that they, they stopped developing it. You think they stopped, just stopped developing on it? They would have said something They would have said something in by now. In the three years, there, sh there would have been something. There ain't no way Clash Heroes is an alpha for three plus years. Right. Something had to have happened. We we got to play the al an, a very early, early alpha version of it. And it was, like, it wasn't obviously complete. Nowhere near. But it was good. Like, well, the, the potential of that game... I it was <laughs> massive. It was still very lacking as well I, in many areas. Yeah, I feel like the biggest feedback I think everyone had was like, like, what's the reason for this? And is there like a PvP? Yeah. Or like a way to face other players? And I don't think they found that answer because why haven't we heard anything? We haven't them? heard anything out of Like, Clash are they just going to make a million different levels and kill this boss? Now, that would get repetitive in my opinion. It would, but they could... It, they could it felt like... Um, Minecraft Dungeons, oh, but in yeah. a in a but in a little more polished way, and in the Supercell universe, or even Pokemon Dungeons. If, you ever play that? No, I haven't. Same thing. If they if they were to add PvP to that, and then add some other cool stuff of their own doing, yeah, that yeah. game could be absolutely just a banger of a game. For all we know, we it's on the side of a milk carton because we don't know <laughs> where it is anymore. That, that was built be. on the Unreal Engine as well. Right, it was. That it game. looked so good. Oh, it was smooth. I was it ready to so grind good. that. I was ready. Mm -hmm. you, you, that South Park meme where everyone's playing wa World of Warcraft. I was ready to install a toilet in my bedroom <laughs> so I wouldn't have to leave. Wait, it's 
it's mobile. I, I could just bring the iPad to the toilet. I'm stupid. Yeah, you could. Your legs could go a numb. You wouldn't care. There. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Put a fridge in the bathroom, too, so I don't have to ever move. You, you just hear like the, the OJ farts in the bathroom. Always in there. Respect my authority. <laughs> <laughs> Respect my authority. <laughs> I farted on stream, and this mic picked it up once. Really? Yeah. Nice. I blame it on. Nice. I mean, no, I didn't fart. Wilbur, Wilbur did. Yeah, yeah Wilbur did. Wilbur. Take that dog. Yeah, little shit. Anyway, so yeah, Clash Heroes is, uh, who knows? It's MIA at the moment. Oh, man. I hope we hear something about it, but I kind of forgot about it. Yeah, I know. So Squad Busters, you're saying, Ben. I like the concept a lot. I think it's the same feedback we kind of gave for a lot of things. There's not enough depth. Mm -hmm. like, And I feel like they realize that, but it was fun. There's just obviously balancing stuff and then that depth issue and like... But we didn't experience different maps or modes. Too. What I love about Supercell is that they all they take a lot of feedback from us and they listen to us a lot. Clash Royale may not seem like they're listening, but they genuinely are. And maybe they're not communicating it, so it feels like to the community that they're not listening at all, but they're working on improvements. There's no way that Clash Royale is ever going to die. I'm confident that the developers yeah, will bring you. it back. I agree with you. Yeah, so... For Squad Busters, they took a lot of the community feedback, our feedback, and everything else. And I'm excited for Squad Busters what, V2. Yeah, yeah, version two. What are, what are they going to do with all that what is feedback? It? What are they? What, what's it going to look like next? Because I think it, at the core, the gameplay and the squad building is fun. When I first opened it up just Squad Busters, I had butterflies in my stomach. Mm -hmm. Wow. Every single Supercell game. This is like a dream come true. And then after playing it for a week, it's like, okay, well, th that guy's got a death ball. I'm going to not engage and take second place. And I don't... Uh, uh. Because, yeah, it's everything. Any Supercell fan's dream is it's all right there in, in that game. And so if they can fix the depth issues, they can add more game modes or make the game modes that they have sufficiently different enough to, to play differently then that game has like the potential to be an absolute banger as well. But at the moment, it's definitely not there. I really like games like Archero. That was really well designed. Ooh. One joystick, and then you yes. stop, you, you lift your finger, and it just starts attacking. And it was so simple in controls with one hand, but also with a lot of depth where you could stutter step and attack. I loved that game as well. Oh. I played the heck out of that game. What's that other game that um, I got really hooked into with Ray? Survivor.io. So Survivor.io. <laughs> I still play that. Oh, You're welcome. I still play You're that. Did, did I know, have did all know? legendary gear. Yeah, I spent... All legendary dude, gear. This is no so bad. Shot. Like, after that, that trip for Pat's wedding, yeah, yeah, yeah. I spent like 300 bucks. Dude, I... Because <laughs> no. at Pat's I spent, wedding... I spent a couple hundred dollars. Oh, my God. What, was that at Pat's yeah. wedding when I was like, hey, guys, check out this game? And then every, everyone just started playing it? No, that's before then. We, oh, we, we because Ben it, we, told me about it at Pat's wedding. We played it on a tribe video. And then that was my first time playing it. And then you and Ray oh. were like, oh, this game's actually good. And then I was like, oh, sweet. And then I told Lex about it. He told me about it. I started playing it. <laughs> when we were at Pat's wedding, I started playing it. I'm still playing it now. Yeah. Dial back. Don't download the game. I heard that uh. one of the developers was a developer for slot machines back then. That's why it's so satisfying when it's like... Pew, 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 pew. I don't care. Oh, like I whenever you build up enough a boat, when you just sit there oh. just watching everything getting wrecked, That's it is so you know, satisfying. You know it's how to make a game, satisfying. whoever made that. So right. I, no. I, I don't care if you're a slot machine maker, Survivor.io maker. That was, That's whatever. fun. That it is a satisfying, fun game. game. And I, I like that you can pause because like if your dinner's done, you can just literally just drop your phone even though you're 14 minutes into a game with all the level up upgrades. So then to bring it back around, OJ, what is next for Clash Royale? What do they need to do? They need to make challenges challenging again. I personally would like it if they made it so you get to eight wins and eight wins gives you the emote and they front load the rewards or maybe even in the form of season tokens, 1,000 season tokens, 500, 300, 100, 100, whatever, and then a cosmetic at the very end. Because I think that progression should be for everyone. For casual player that can only get to three wins, fine. They get like everything front loaded. For mm -hmm. a hardcore player, they can keep playing and going to the very end to get the emote, the cosmetics. And the uh, satisfaction it's, of beating the challenge. Exactly. And for masteries, that's exactly what they did. They front loaded yes. everything. It's perfect the way they did it. And what, what is it, 5,000 for all the progression? I think it's like 5,800. 5,800. And then the, the 20,000 is purely cosmetics and for flexing, which is like so sweaty. Right. I'll grind all day for that. <laughs> yeah, you will. And you do. <laughs> but no, sweat here. For, for Clash Royale, I will say, when they started introducing like the troll cards, I think that was really fun. So I like if, if they, I feel like if they keep diving into that world, that's good. But they have to make those challenges. Like, I'm not going to lie, the archers, super archers, whatever one you had me play today, it was, it was fun. Like, that's a cool thing. But it's not as exciting if I can't get to the end and get something cool. 
Yeah. There's sense? no sense of achievement at all. Like it's fun. It. It's fun playing, but it's, it's not. It does not feel. Yeah, insane. and when you were losing, I even said, "Oh, you know, it's okay if you lose." Whereas, like before, it's like you gotta win, Ben. You know, Otherwise we're gonna yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. Yeah. I I love. I well, I should say I loved the the playing the casual modes that were absolute chaos. And in, 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 seven even X elixir, yes, dude, like yeah. infinite elixir. You're just doing stupid, crazy things. They're just it's it's. Nonsense, but there, I, but I loved it. It was fun. There was a time in 2006 when Dota One released a mode called WTF, and that <laughs> was just infinite no cooldown abilities. You could like just teleport all over the map and just spam your fireballs or whatever nonstop, and that's what Clash Royale did with with Seven X. And it was fun. It's 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 a lot of fun to play. Yeah. And now even if it's even if it was there in the party tab now. Or the events tab. There's it, not being able to get chests for doing it removes the reason to play it, right? Because the season tokens aren't enough to to keep you wanting to play it over and over again. But you could do that for chests and challenges. And I feel like the motivation to keep playing the game has taken a huge hit with what they've done. There's just no incentive because they tried to cater to make it too casual. Oh, don't worry. You only need to play two games in a day. It's like, no, I want to. I want to play ten in a day and then right. not play it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like so that similar, That's, I, similarly, I Brawl Stars is now getting to the end of that roadmap that they have that they laid out. What you know, eight months ago or so. What now for Brawl Stars? For Brawl Stars, what now? Because Masters was like the last big ticket item. They've got some like social media sharing stuff that they still haven't done, and furthering on some cosmetic things. Fix. But what now? They need to fix Map Maker. Yes. That is so, that's so untapped. I know you've been saying it a lot. I've been I, preaching yeah. it. Every, I think everyone that... Fortnite like, Creative. Yeah, like... You can do whatever you want in Fortnite Creative. Make that in Brawl Stars. You know a bunch of a big hit that would be? It would be massive. And like, they could start small. They could just make it where it's like... You could... They kind of have where you can play like whatever brawler you want. All three. But like, even just like... If you want to have every brawler like... Have infinite supers and stuff. I like want, I want, supers. I want even bigger than that though. Ben. Yeah, I, I do too. But I'm just saying they could start small and and be like, oh yeah, this is cool. And I and, doing and I say this from a perspective of I have no clue what it would take to develop any of this stuff that we're talking yeah. about. It may be this massive job that I just don't. You know, it's not just like oh, I'm just gonna type a couple things and it's there, right? Obviously, I'm sure it's a lot more than that. But I want like a full on make my own custom rules type of game mode maker. That would be kind of like StarCraft 1 map maker then where you can kind of implement these win conditions. It was a very simplified code of... If this happens, then this happens. Exactly. And you can create these win conditions where you could supplement it with like a high safe. If player kills high safe, then... Oh man, that's kind of complicated. Hmm. Yeah, but think of how... What the, the possibilities would be. And not only the possibilities, but the engagement from the community to get them being creative in the game. It would in itself spin off new game modes they would land themselves in game no doubt about it they've had in map maker for the longest time hashtags yeah they need to share those be able to share the maps easily yeah and then do you ever play halo th- like halo 3 like forge or any of those they had the perfect thing where it's just fan created mini games but then you could go and find like the down like the downloaded game download it to your profile and then you could play the own mini game like ghostbusters or like cops versus robbers and it was like the biggest thing. For Map me. Maker is so untapped. Minecraft, Fortnite, and everything else. A whole genre was invented from StarCraft Map Maker. Yeah. MOBAs, yeah. Dota. Yeah. If Dota didn't exist, there wouldn't be League of Legends. There wouldn't be Wild Rift and all these other things out now. What about like you doing something like that? You know how like uh, in most MOBAs, or in all MOBAs, you play and then you kit out your gear as you go along. What if they made a game mode like that where you could do that? I would like that. Yeah, that would be cool. Like a, a straight up MOBA version in Brawl Stars. That was a Warcraft 3 mechanic. Would be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's the know. one thing I love about Supercell is that everything is so small. So that's why there's so many different... It's so drastic in what we're, we're talking about from Brawl Stars team to Clash Royale team and just different philosophies. So it's nice to spice things up and everyone has a say in their team. Well, then here's a pretty... Uh, Maybe spicy question. Um, has Supercell lost their touch? They haven't released a global game in five years. What the has Supercell 
lost their touch as a company and releasing games that are innovative and do you want my, special. Do you want my honest thought? I think I think they're a little like slow to like the the genre sometimes. Like auto chess was big like what three years ago, mm-hmm. and now they have an auto chess, but I feel like the hype for those is dying down so much. I think. Th- and that's probably due to their small teams. I mean, they can't yeah. develop things as fast as people that are yeah. a big company that's like, cool, we got 300 people developing this game right now and we're going to have it done by next week. There are some con- companies that will release 100 prototypes in a week. Yeah. And they'll just churn it over using the same engine over and over to like re- redo a different game, whereas Superstar really focuses on one thing. And I think that's the, a big reason why they've got some games out there that are extremely special. Yep. You know, the big three games, they're, they're very special games that... Like, we're completely revolutionary in mobile games. I play Clash of Clans more than I play Clash Royale and Brawl Stars combined right now. Really? Same. And it's 10 years old. 10 years old and you're still playing it. 11 and you're still playing it that much more. I've been... been, That's how good of a game it is. That's how revolutionary in the space it was. Aside from Masteries, I'm the same way. Clash of Clans, whatever... Like, they just knew, like... How to like make players want to come back, and then now how to like keep them. Like, it feels good because I came back. And like, oh my god, I'm Town Hall 10. This is so easy. To, I could I could get to Town Hall 13 now with all these magic items and these free things. And I think what they have though is like you can like you know what you're talking about like slot machines of satisfaction. The fact that you're grinding and you can see the progression, you can see your base getting built. Yeah. You can see it like it's actually like it's satisfying like. Clash Royale right now, I don't think has that with like, oh, I get to level 15, but oh, or 14. Like, I don't see it. You, you, know, you, you would only, really you'd only really see it like in very small, specific interactions. Like, oh, okay, now the log yeah. kills this. But if I upgrade my town hall to level 15, dude, that thing looks beefy, looks cool. Like, it has, it has such That's a perfect true. model. That's true. It's so, so good. Clash Royale started with less than 40 cards, and you could see it in 2016. It's a completely different game now. And you can't see it anymore. There's over 300 emotes in the game, and you can't really see your collection that anymore. I have like 15 pages I have to scroll through. Yeah, that's that's a, a thing with like I, I think is an issue with like Brawl Stars too. Like you don't really see a lot of times your progression as well. So I think that is going to be an issue even maybe in the future long term. Is like like what's it all for? Like you know like yeah you can push trophies right now you can push masteries, but it's going to get to a point where it's like oh you get a title that's cool. So, I, but Clash of Clans just has that perfect model. If they keep like changing it, where you like you can physically see it, like that's where I think is like that's that's awesome. So, do you think that the reason why Supercell had so many big like groundbreaking hits with these games is because it was so early on in the mobile gaming space that a the competition was a lot less then, but also the ideas were less tapped than they are now. The mobile space is oversaturated because all the developers are going for it. Diablo Immortal has grossed more than all the other Diablo franchises. And with mobile, it's just so much easier to monetize because you don't even have to pull your credit card to buy something. Mobile accounts for more than PC and console combined in revenue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mobile gaming makes more money than PC and console gamings combined. Just let that sink in for a second. That's a, that's a very big stat. Which, by the way, I'm very excited for. Supercell released a post last year looking for console PC developers. They did. They were talking about, yes, PC and console developers. Like They were going to be start at least dipping their toes in that and start working on some console well, and PC games. Imagine a Street Fighter. Imagine a, a fighter style. But imagine bro- a Minecraft game, but instead in the Clash universe. Oh, my God. I would play that. So would I. Yeah. yeah. Dude. An, an MMORPG set in the Clash universe. I'd play that. I, I, I'm, I'm excited because I remember Ilka even said in his most like the year-end blog post, mm-hmm. he mm-hmm. mentioned the same thing. They're looking at other verticals as well, like the PC and console. So it's exciting for sure. Is like to go back on your question though, is it oversaturated though in the mobile market? I think so. Like, because there's so many different developers. A lot of them, yeah, a lot of them just do copy paste crap, like crappy sure. r- r- rip offs, but a lot of them too, like, are trying different things. So it is very hard. So are all the good all, good ideas taken? Probably not, but not that maybe it's just it not makes a problem It makes yet. it a lot harder to, yeah. to come up with something when. Pretty much everything is out there already. In my opinion, Brawl Stars was one of the first games to do MOBAs right. If you look at like Gem Grab 3v3, that feels like 
a simplified version of a MOBA that I want to play on mobile. Mm -hmm. If you look at Solo Showdown, that's the first battle rail on mobile that isn't overwhelming to me. And I'm not committed to a 40 minute match against a hundred player battle rail, nope. which by the way, we, we should, I would love like a 20 player showdown and or like a five V five and brawl stars. And maybe that's oh, the five V five mode. I mean, what, just, how many, how long, fun, not even competitive. How long have we been as all pretty much every content creator? It probably most players as well been asking for a five V five. Why haven't we seen that yet? Is it, like Is it a, just been not a priority for them to try it out? Or maybe they already have tried it out and we don't even know. And maybe they've tried it out and it was just crap. It could be. There's lots know. of things that yeah. wild ideas in Brawl Stars that I would love to try. Not they, even they competitively, be, just for fun. Yeah, exactly. They, I, they may be crap, but I want to try them. I want to I see if it's any good. I want to see if it's fun, which is why we need a map maker, a mode map maker. Yeah. A chaos mode. Just, uh, I think they, Let us do whatever the They've done wants. really good with competitive things like the masteries, uh -huh. all that. Now we need chaos. We need 5v5. We need infinite everything. There's plenty I, of I, very competitive modes in the game. Play. Even like modes when they did the burning ball one when we never yeah. had, we, we never even had seen it before. We didn't know it was coming and all of a sudden this, you know, stuff like that. Everybody yeah. grabbed the ball first and like, why am I dying? And then boom, you're dead. You're like, what's just happening? And the next thing you know, everybody's realizing you can kick it through walls and it was just like a small little thing. Just they changed one thing and it made such a cool mode out of it. Yeah. They need. I feel like they need to do, experiment more with that stuff. Oh, as well. absolutely. That's what I love. I don't think they lost their touch. You I just think, so? think that they haven't gone beyond. That's all it is. Because what do you mean by that? We still haven't seen something insanely innovating. Like, wow, this needs to go global now. Clash Royale hit the mark on the head. It was crazy. They haven't done anything that's like as unique as those. You know, the big three games that they have lately. Because, you know, like Clash Quest is basically just a matching game in a different, you know, skin. So is Heyday Pop. Um, Clash Mini is an auto chess game. So they're like taking ideas that are out there and putting their own spin on them. That's great. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that per se, but it's not innovative. Clash Royale Alpha was started as a MOBA. It was one. You can, yeah, you can see it. It was one tower and two lanes. And you would have a knight travel through the lanes every couple minutes or every couple seconds, and then you would have a wizard behind. Mm -hmm. How So they took an work. idea, but then they made it completely different, and they made it their own and made an entire new genre, basically. What is the genre even? I, I mean, mean, I don't know. Like, but how many times has that Clash Royale has been copied so many times by other you know developers that have made clones of it because it, it's, own, its own thing. It's its own thing now. Clash Royale and Brawl Stars killed it because every mobile game is based off of the Clash Royale and... Brawl Stars UI. UI. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do want to say they lost their touch, but I, it's tough because, like, it's been five years, man, and there's nothing on the horizon that says elsewise. Like, it could be eight years before another groundbreaking game because there is going to be it another game. It gets harder and harder nonstop, yeah. right, to, to be that innovative like, company that they like, were. Even outside of are. Supercell, there hasn't been, like, a crazy game since Among Us or, like, Fortnite. That was just a global phenomenon. Imagine if Supercell made Among Us. I don't know. I think it's just everyone's racing to find the next big global hit. And I hope it's Supercell. I really do. But I love the company. Yeah. They're good people. They're 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 great people. I want to work for them one day, despite all the slander today. I'm sorry, Supercell. I retract <laughs> all my statements in this podcast. Yes. We we love you guys. You oh, I think us. that they know we love them. Yeah. And, and again, like I said before, not just about Clash Royale, about any of these things. The only reason why we're talking about them because we're passionate about them. We love all these games. We love the company and the people. We care. That's why we're talking about it. I made a video addressing all the concerns of the updates. And because I had to edit and everything, the community was thrashing me on Reddit. They were like, oh, OJ's just posting regular videos. He's not trashing how bad this update is. And then two days later, oh, OJ released the video. But he still said at the very end that he trusts them. I don't trust them. OJ's trash. Like, they're so angry that they will clasp onto any negativity. But they're angry because they care as well. I, I feel like, yeah, that's so true. You know, it, it, and it's hard to sit there and swallow all this negativity and all the, you know, the vitriol that's being you know, spewed toward them right now. But they're only doing that because they love the game and they care about it. That's right? so true because it, it, it's a sum of the community, which a lot of it could be like 13 year olds that haven't developed the emotional regulations to have that constructive criticism. So instead of being constructive, they're being destructive and they're doing personal attacks on the community managers which is not okay that's never okay no. that is never okay like why are you giving death threats on an update that 
has worse progression. Right. Like that's the that's, stupidest that's thing dumb. ever. No. <laughs> There's no justification for that, honestly. No. Like 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 I said, yeah, they just want the best for the games. I don't know. I gotta take a dump though, guys. Just go right there. <laughs> Normally you take a dump when we're recording for Tribe, which is like... I didn't sleep this last night because I was grinding Willow and I had a flight at 7 a.m. <laughs> so my dump schedule is messed up and I ain't going on the plane. I'm not taking a dump like on the plane. On a tiny little bathroom in there and then No. Like, and then the, you, uh, the some wind comes and it yeah. boom, hits your butthole. Heck no, <laughs> dude. My name is LG and this is Peeling the Orange.